um, desk space for about 40, 45 people. And we've got 140 freelancers who use it. So part of what we have to do is make sure that not all 140 come there at the same time. Um, and we monitor when people are kind of using it. And we track that on an hour by hour, day to day basis so we know when there are peaks and when there are troughs. Um, um, it, it, and it's the, it's the um, I guess it's the fitness club model, isn't it? That, um, you know, if everyone had signed up for fitness club, went to the fitness club at the same time, no one would get on the rowing machine. But um, they build into their model that that doesn't happen. And that's what we kind of do here. Um, you can rent desk space from everything. It's very flexible. So you rent desk space by the, by the month. And you can rent anything from two hours a month up to um, 120 hours a month. So you, you can choose that. And you do it on a month-by-month -month basis. So you can do it for one month and then you don't have to do it. How do you monitor that? Um, we monitor it by trust. Right. So uh, there, there's another co-working space in Soho called Soho Collective. And what they've done is they give you a swipe card. And when you go in... It, docks your hours, and when you swipe to go out, it docks your hours, right. and we decided not to do that for two reasons. One, cost, it's a very expensive system, and two, we wanted to build a community feel here. So what we want to build is uh, a co-working space that is as much as possible self-managed. So we felt that if we said to people, we don't trust you, they wouldn't feel that they had ownership of the skiff. Mm. So, so there's no reception, talk about, there's no admin receptionist booking a person at all? No reception. As, as you saw when we were going round, and someone else had come in and asked, can they look around the space because they might be interested, and, 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 and one of the people who work here was just taking them round. So that regularly happened. So people work here, show other people around. So once again, that's taking ownership. We keep our branding here, on the website and here, virtually zero. And there's a bit on the bottom of the website that says, you know, the skiff is powered by Wild Sussex. And that's partly because, once again, we want people to feel that they own it, not that we own it. Um, and that's the only, you know, that's, there's, there's, there's two, you know, we hope that models like this combine delivering creativity and innovation with being successful business models. So that's what we're kind of trying to do. So in terms of delivering creativity and innovation, we, you know, we're con you know, it encourages people to take, take ownership of their space, work with other people. Um, 